It is. Um, what I really wanted to ask you, though, is why are you lying to the public about the demographic replacement of Indigenous people? Oh, sorry. People? I, I thought you wanted to ring up about Brexit. I do. I'm happy about Brexit. Yeah, well, well that's what it says. It says here, Sarah wants to talk about the Brexit celebrations. Everybody should get to Parliament Square. I'll be but taking my flag. Well, so, we were reluctant to talk about this subject the other day when that chap called up, and I well, wanted to know why you were deliberately misleading. Well, no, you, 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 you... Something interesting has happened this week, which is that the talk radio shock jock... Mike Graham, a man whose entire shtick is to tell it like it is, revealed himself to be an establishment shill and coward when confronted with raw facts. Raw facts I have mentioned before on this channel, such as the fact that the non-white population of the UK was less than 20,000 in 1951, but by 2011 was over 8 million. It started when a woman rang up on his show and dared to mention this fact on the call, including the words great replacement. What do you mean? It was a replacement policy by the UN and the EU to replace... Replace who? ...population. Replace who? Us. Well, well, who's replaced you? Well, they're, they're, they're getting moved in to replace us. That's what the migration part was. Are you feeling okay, Mary? You've got, you've got good researchers. They should look on the UN site and they'll find the replacement policies and the EU site. The there is, there is no replacement things. policy, Mary. What? If you were being replaced, the you wouldn't, UN, be, you the wouldn't be talking to me. The, no, the UN's got nothing to do with it. People are coming to this country to, to live because they don't like where they're currently living. We can argue about whether that's a good idea or not, but they're not coming here because the UN sent them. Well, see, we see when they first we knock them marauding across Europe and nobody stopped them, and you can't even see that because that's... Well, are you talking about the Germans? No, no, no. I'm not talking about the Germans. I'm talking about the whole... Uh, the law, the, all the governments, all taxpayers' money get took to use it to pay for these... I think you've been, I think you've been smoking that funny tobacco, Mary. I'm going to let you go. Look, the point is, we have an immigration problem in parts of this country. It is not because the United Nations has sent people here to replace the people who are the indigenous people of this country. Because guess what? There are no indigenous people of this country. And was promptly shut down by Graham and told that the British people do not have an ancestral homeland. He employed the dishonest framing that we were all Viking once or something. Anyway, Laura Tyler then made a video about this. The thing about Mike Graham is that he presents himself as a straight talking, no BS kind of guy. He's the edgy one on the radio who tells it exactly like it is. And Graham, rather than honestly addressing the statistical facts and indeed the UN report, doubled down and took to calling Towler names and trying to big time her by calling her a nobody. He then did a phone in on the topic called are white Britons being replaced by immigrants? And as you can see, this has over 1,000 dislikes so far. It mainly consists of callers confronting him, again with the raw facts of the matter, and him being unprofessional, hanging up on people, and resorting to boorish name-calling. Then Morgoth's Review made a video. So I thought I would just chime in on what's been going on with talk radio and talk radio host Mike Graham. So you've got this situation where a ton of people are ringing him up and they're asking about the... Oh, I can't say it on YouTube. I'll do a Nick Lowry. Le Grand La Place Lyon. And again, rather than to try to talk about the facts, Graham took to smearing and outright lying. At one point claiming that Morgoth had begged to come on the show when nothing could be further from the truth. So why did Mike Graham, the shock jock who tells it like it is, react in this manner, as opposed to calmly dismantling the claim? Is it just cognitive dissonance, or does he have an agenda? As it happens, my buddy, Poe the person, who is pretty much a logic machine, looked at this question recently, and calmly looked at the facts kind of ignoring it for this whole time i'm not really i'm not really interested in in that sort of thing and it's to me it sounded like a conspiracy theory and i still think that it is but yesterday the bbc posted a video on on their website and it was on the front page although now it's become sort of more hidden amongst all of the bbc articles it was a 
it's a sort of an infographic type video. The video is called What Would the UK Be Like Without Immigration? Over the last two decades, immigration to the UK has run at rates unprecedented in our history, changing many aspects of our society and our economy. But what would Britain look like without immigration? And it's just three and a half minutes long, and it's just the description of the uh, some statistics of what the UK is like now compared to uh, the 1980s before before mass immigration started. And at one point in the video, it says that one in seven people in the UK was born abroad, and one in three babies born in the UK is born to uh, parents who are one or, or both of them are immigrants who were not born in the UK. Without immigration, the UK's population would have been shrinking for quite some time. And when populations shrink, places hollow out. And perhaps more noticeable than fewer people would be that we'd be on average much older. More than a third of babies born in the UK have at least one parent from abroad. And that reminded me of this great replacement theory that I've been hearing about on um, online. And with the complicity or cooperation of replacist elites, the white French population, as well as the white European population at large, is being progressively replaced with non-European peoples, specifically Arab, Berber, Sub-Saharan Muslim populations from Africa and the Middle East. So this is the theory that the, the white, what you could call native population of uh, France in particular, but also uh, Europe, white Europe, is being replaced by non-white immigrants. And it's called a white nationalist far-right conspiracy theory, despite the fact that it seems that every part of what is said there is in some ways correct. Whatever the intention is behind it, it I can't find anything that denies the fact that the population of the UK is becoming more and more non-native, non-white European. In this video on the BBC, it says that this immigration is needed because the birth rate of the UK, of the native um, UK British is falling and the number of, uh, and the average age of the population is increasing. So we have a lot of old people and not enough young people to do, to be in the working population in order to support the economy. So we need to bring in young people to supplement the uh, the decreasing birth rate, so we have a lot of young people in the future. And the video doesn't explicitly say that this has been done intentionally, but it's kind of implied that at least this is a happy accident. And when I was looking for that Great Replacement article on, um, on the white nationalist far-right conspiracy theory, I found this other article on Wikipedia called Replacement Migration, which is a very similar name, but it's a little bit different. In this article, it says, in demography, replacement migration is the theory of migration needed for a region to achieve a particular objective, demographic, economic, or social. Generally, studies using this concept have an objective to avoid the decline of the population and the decline of the working age population. That seems to pretty well sum up what is happening in the UK, but as soon as you introduce the idea of race into it, it becomes a it becomes a white nationalist far-right conspiracy theory. I just wanted to make this video because I honestly don't know what to believe. The mainstream belief system would have me believe that the Great Replacement is a, uh, a, a white supremacist, uh, racist theory, and yet every part of that theory is seems to be backed up by the mainstream belief system. The, the BBC are publishing articles about how about how the young population of this country is decreasing and we need to import more young people who just happen to be of a different race. So there it is. Someone with no agenda, using reason and evidence, cannot dismiss the idea as a conspiracy theory. Why can't Mike Graham do this? I think we got a problem, put it best. Notable mention this week is the independent repussy of Mike Graham, the talk radio host who has resorted to the age old lefty tactic 
when he can't defeat an argument or is forbidden by his masters from talking about it and instead starts name calling. This is of course relating to the YouTuber Laura Towler tearing him a new arsehole on Twitter recently because he shut down a lady who called into his show making a valid point about UN migrant replacement policies that does not take much researching to know she is right. Considering we heard Nicola Sturgeon, leader of the Scottish National Party, state exactly that in an interview I covered in my video yesterday about the SNP. As you will remember, she wanted mass EU immigration to replace the Scottish population and make it grow. Little Mickey has took to abusing Laura and her followers on Twitter. Why is the Mike Graham containment policing the airwaves? Why is he controlling Britain's conversation? Why is he denying not only the facts, but also the views of the vast majority of his listeners? Cope harder, Mike. Now get out.